Well, as you might have noticed, it's 20 years ago today since Princess Diana died. The 31st of August 1997 was a Sunday, but in the following week, it was the only story that we, Newsnight, ran. As the nation remembers those events of two decades ago, we thought we'd leave you with how we covered that shocking news of her death. Good night. Good evening. In this special programme, we're going to be paying tribute to Diana, Princess of Wales. Remembering some of the events of an often troubled life, talking about the contribution she made through her public work, and about the extraordinary excitement her very presence aroused, not just here, but right round the world. I, I'm amazed that she's uh, been brave enough to take me on. <laughs> and I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. Yes. So. When I started my public life 12 years ago, I understood the media might be interested in what I did. I realized then their attention would inevitably focus on both our private and public lives. But I was not aware of how overwhelming that attention would become. Let's go first to Kirsty Walk, who's at the Cafe Diana down in Kensington. All the people here are ones who've laid flowers at Kensington Palace and uh, have chosen to stay on because they feel so strongly about the press. Ten page supplements being printed going to press tonight for publication tomorrow. I would urge everyone in the country who believes that the press had some involvement, directly or indirectly, in her death not to buy them. I'll always be glad that I knew uh, the princess and uh, always think of her in very uh, strong and positive terms. Everyone who can will support uh, her two fine sons and, and help them to have the life and the future that she would want. She was uh, undoubtedly one of the best ambassadors of Great Britain. The crowds that have flocked to Buckingham Palace are strangely silent. In many ways, the nation has mourned for the princess's death in the way that individuals grieve for a family member. She was very special to everyone. And she was very loved by everyone too. We'll leave you with these pictures of the scenes tonight outside St James's Palace.